Well, Mina Walking is a pretty literal title. It, it, it's about Mina. She's a 12-year-old girl. She goes out on the street, and she's one of the many thousands of street children of Afghanistan who have to make a living, unfortunately, for their families. And this is the story of seven days in her life. And it's actually the, the whole movie takes place around the elections, the Afghan presidential elections that we had last year. And it's kind of uh, it kind of bookends the story. One of the most obvious things that are on the street are the street children. The street children of Afghanistan are children who have been orphaned or for some reason uh, their parents have been handicapped by the war and they can't provide a living. So these children go out on the street and spend day and night trying to hustle basically. I befriended a group of these street children and uh, spent a lot of time with them and Really, what kind of struck me as interesting was that uh, the group was made up of two boys who were older in their in their 20s, and two girls who are maybe nine or 10 years old. The girls who were much younger and much weaker were actually making more money because they were better hustlers. They knew how to get around and uh, really how to sell and make more money in the end. And uh, to me, in a country like Afghanistan, it was really interesting and really original. And I thought that this would be a great kind of uh, key to unlocking a culture because for me. I really wanted to focus on the details of the culture. And I thought that, you know, I thought to myself every time at the end of the day when the children went home, I thought to myself, you know, what is it like for when one of these girls who works so hard to make all this money, what is it like when she goes home? What is her home like? Home life like? I can't go home with her. I can't tell what her life is like. And I bet those details are um, reveal a lot about the culture. And so that's when the the movie really started shaping up two years ago when I started kind of filling in the details and trying to tell this girl's story through the details that would hopefully in the end reveal a portrait of the culture. <laughs>